Why is it important to document property renovation plans and details in hotel contracts? This is something too, I'll just call out, we're seeing an increase in the amount of RFPs on the HopSkip platform that are <clears throat> specifically asking hotels for renovation plans or details for any upcoming renovation. So Barbara, Lisa, one of you want to take it away on why that's important yeah, or sure. not important? I'll jump in and just say it's important because construction and renovation can happen anytime. And it's a good thing. Uh, we all understand it's a good thing. We all understand that the hotels being able to have money to do projects and work is a good thing. It's a bad thing if it happens with the groups that was there and house. And so that said, it's a contingency like any other that uh, to be prudent planners and protecting your organizations, doing what's in their best interest should always address in context in which there are plans underway or discussions underway, whether those are fully formed discussions or finalized or whatever the case may be, or budgeted, uh, or they have funding for, the groups want to know about them. Last thing we want is an unhappy surprise. You know, we've, we've already talked today about the, the transparency issues. And so it is important to, to discuss it. It is important to document it. What isn't necessarily important all the time is that you have to win the battle on, on your construction clause versus a hotel's. At the end of the day, I just wanna know the important things are gonna be addressed. I wanna know that we'll be made aware of the construction as soon as it might be finalized or put in place. We'll wanna know what's going to be done about it, so to speak, in terms of resolving potential disruptions and the rest. And then we'll want the ability on the group side to make a decision as to how that might impact our meeting, how it might impact our ability to stay. To me, those are the essential components. Uh, and I think that there are plenty of clauses and Lisa, you and I have worked together over the years on negotiating these clauses and, and having them in place. The troubleshooting really comes into play when their thought is that there's no construction and then something comes up and again, we all understand that that happens, but when it happens and the group finds out about it shortly prior to its meeting, the, the likelihood of it being a, a negative impact is certainly significant. So that is critical to ask the question, but also again, I'd say on the planner side, the group side, if the answer is, oh no, we're not gonna be doing anything else, don't mean that, don't, don't think that you can take that off your radar screen. You're gonna have to monitor it. You're going to have to ask and check and that's okay. Uh, but you'll want to troubleshoot it early to avoid a problem. But I think, Lisa, you know, from my standpoint, uh, if, you know, we have to assume whether the hotel's new, old, everything in between, uh, they might need construction or renovation. And addressing it at the contract, to me, whether it's a short-term booking or longer-term booking, is one of the critical elements that I think, you know, uh, from the hallmarks you and I talked about over the years, notice, discussion, right, opportunity to do something about it. You know, those to me mean there's flexibility in the language as long as those issues are addressed. I know I agree with Barbara. The thing that you have to understand is that every hotel is always planning renovation. Every hotel is always planning renovation. Just know that because in the hotel business, if you are not thinking about what you need to do to upgrade your facilities, keep them refreshed, keep them nice, then your hotel is going to fall into one of those situations where the customers are saying, well, there's a deterioration in quality. We don't like your facility anymore. The problem is the fact that they're planning doesn't mean they know they're going to do it. I have had so many situations where a hotel literally was planning renovations for 10 years before they could get the funding from their owners, before they could get the permits, before they could sign the contracts, all those kinds of things. And I have also had situations where a hotel literally found out a week ahead of time that it was all going to happen. So I see those construction clauses that say, if there's going to be any renovation, we can cancel. That's not the solution, as Barbara's saying. You don't want a clause that says, you must tell us if you're planning any re renovation, because they are, but they just don't know when or if it's actually going to happen. So what you want, as Barbara says, is a clause that says, once you know what's going to happen, you will tell us, you will tell us how it's going to impact our event, and then we're going to have a discussion about what you're prepared to do as a hotel to address this. And I will tell you that when hotels are undergoing renovation, they're prepared to do a lot to keep your business on the books. And so the clause that says if there's any renovation, we get to cancel, doesn't help you as a, as a group because now you're scrambling to find a new place at the last minute. You may not get 
the facility that you like, you may get different pricing. What does help you is to sit down with the hotel and say, what are you going to do for me? And usually they are willing to do quite a bit. Now there are circum certain, certain circumstances where of course, if the ballroom that you are going to use is going to be torn up, you're gonna to have to move and you need to know that as soon as possible. And I will tell you that my hotel friends are very optimistic and they always want to wait and see if it's all going to work out. And I always tell them, don't do that. Tell them yeah. sooner rather than later come up with a contingency plan. You can say our anticipated uh, end date is October 1, and if by September 1 we think we're gonna be late, we'll let you know, you know, things like that. But don't wait until October 1 to say, oh, it's not going to happen. So the hotels have a responsibility to tell you on these kinds of things, but don't just have these clauses that automatically get you out if there's any renovation, because if they're renovating the 15th floor and your rooms are on the first floor, that shouldn't be a basis to cancel. So I know I keep beating the same drum today, but it's all about communication and working together to find the best solution that's going to work for you.